Animesh versus Arham for the second best player in the Premier League right now. Is it Cole Palmer or is it Bukayo Saka? I'm going to start with Arham back to back. Why do you think Cole Palmer is the second best player in the Premier League? I mean, we okay. all can agree think- that uh, if you want to like say that they're, they're the best players and not Haaland, we can say that. But stats, everything combined, Haaland is the best player in the Premier League. And there is an open spot for the second one. Salah is right there. But I just want this debate to be about Cole Palmer and Bukayo Saka. Just because Salah is going to leave okay. next season. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be quick about it. Saka is the second best player in the league right now because Cole Palmer is the best player. Look, I have already said it. Saka is a classy player and he's easily top seed. He has got everything in his locker. He has the one you run shooting, crossing, defensive gifts. But the fact of the matter is that Saka's number and driven, they get elevated due to the squad that they have around him. You can all see that most of his chances and assists that he creates come from set pieces. And if Palmer had Kela Kiori, Gabriel, Saliba, White, Havertz, Martinelli all died in the box when he was uh, delivering all those set pieces, he would rack even bigger numbers that he already has. And just the fact of the matter is, without them, he has had better numbers ever since he started to playing for Chelsea and then. Uh, uh, Saka even has a huge playmaker in Odegaard alongside him in the right central midfield who helps create opportunities for him through balls, decoy runs, fake pumps, you name it. And they have combined for a nine goal since he's been there for Arsenal. So anyone who watches Arsenal play can see the huge trail towards their right hand side. On the other side, while Saka gets platformed by his teammates, Palmer gets somewhat hindered. He has midway on his right man and his decision making in the final third is questionable itself. And then you have Nico Jackson up front who still needs to improve his shooting and all. And again, as I said, Palmer doesn't even have the same set piece threat inside the box that Arsenal have. So they have. also, I hate to admit, but they were sort of on the polar opposite sides of the table at least for the last season. So Palmer obviously has more freedom. But he makes the most out of it, man. In this functional Chelsea side, he still managed to rack up those numbers last season. And he led by example. Like, that is one thing that places him apart from Saka right now. That in times of crisis, he was the one who stepped up on his own and delivered. Me. All right, AJ, uh, time of crisis. Uh, Arham, you said you want to keep it short. <laughs> everything he said, everything is literally the opposite can be said the same. So let's let's go by one by one, right? Chelsea and Arsenal finish on the opposite ends. Premier League fear playing Arsenal just because of the attack that they have. And the attack is Bukayo Saka. We play against a low block every freaking week. Uh, I know like, you know, we, they've been calling the dark arts and whatnot shit and we've been the defensive team, but we actually are not. Go by go, Going by the stats, breaking a low block versus playing a basketball game is a two very different things. And if people don't fear you and they want to come at you, you obviously will get spaces. And the whole team revolves around Chelsea's team. Contrary to Aram's point, revolves around making Palmer play. Like, everything flows through Palmer. Everybody is searching for Palmer. Every assist goes through Palmer. Every goal goes through Palmer. And that's what happens. I mean, that's clearly what we've seen happening against Wolves. Happened today where there were clear-cut chances where people could have passed to other people, but they still ended up passing to Palmer just because... I mean, there's a confidence in Palmer. He's not a bad player. He's a great player. But he never has uh, taken the opportunity to break down a low-block defense, lead a team from being 8th place to title contenders three years in a row. So when somebody says that Saka hasn't had the opportunity, hasn't had, hasn't done it in a C, in a team that is not done well or is been failing, I think that's basically delusional to say it because there hasn't been a more dysfunctional Arsenal team, Arsenal team than the Arsenal team from Una Emery and this guy broke through that team and carried this team for the past five years, the consistency, twice being English player of the year, which unfortunately Palmer wasn't and I'm afraid to say they're of the same age, so him not breaking through to the England team is not Saka's fault, it's just the abilities that one player has over the other and clearly I mean if you're playing in a team which has like so much freedom to play and everything's flowing towards from you then you would rake up numbers and you're good I mean you're not bad but uh, like there's still levels to go when it comes to Saka and Palmer debate let's see what happens when Chelsea become a little bit better a little bit more fluid people become a little bit compact against Chelsea like what happened to, uh, today versus Nottingham Forest I didn't see four GA I saw one that's what Saka has been doing for the past four years. So the consistency and everything that goes through this guy, this guy has been carrying the whole whole institution of Arsenal on his head and he's been the best player in the world. So for me, I mean, again, that's best player in the world is subjective because there are so many others, but definitely one of the best players in the Premier League. I would pick him over Palmer any day. You can do that and have the same fate as Southgate. <laughs> uh, just by the way, uh, on that point, we wouldn't reach semi-finals if Saka wouldn't do what he did in quarterfinals. So I don't think it matters what somebody did in <laughs> one game it matters what everybody does throughout the tournament and there's a reason Saka was played over Palmer throughout and even is done today by whatever the new coaches I don't even know his name so yeah he did left back shift so good on him he was a good partner yeah but 
Palmer despite not even playing half the minutes in practice. Definition of a score player is time. somebody who doesn't get minutes and sporadically comes on. That's what Palmer did. So, yeah. let's not go with who scored player was. 